fourth or fifth time's the charm. I don't even know anymore. Hey, it's Matt with Chaos Trainer. Um, so again, this is an early alpha of my machine learning game. And uh, sorry for being uh, slow to uh, post this week. I've been plagued with memory issues. As it turns out, Unity is just garbage at garbage collection and suffers from a lot of memory leaks and issues of that nature. And when you switch to their preferred what is it, scriptable object class, it just makes things much, much, much worse. So don't do that. Um, if you run into the same problem, message me. I can go into detail, but uh, it really slowed us down using their scriptable object class. Uh, it's not good, so don't do it uh, for if you want performance. All right, so what we've got here, additionally, the good side is the side. Good, good news is that uh, we've got lava balls. Use your imagination, but that is lava or fireballs, I guess, that is firing out there. And so these guys are generation 17. We've got about 50 species. They've got the usual rules that incentivize them to move. Actually, we can see the rules. Incentivizes. Sorry, I'm tired. Been up since five. So we've got the floor one point and one second of life for every unique tile that hit. That means that like if you touch a tile they've already got, then it's not going to count. But they've already touched. Uh, 100 for every new Y that they climb upwards. So like plus we've got a score multiplier of 1.05. That means that say the Y is two. It's 1.05 squared times 100. If it's three, you know three positions higher than they started, then it'll be 1.05 cubed and so on, times 100. Uh, like I said, we're running 25 generations, um, five species, randomized spawn positions, which does make it tougher. Um, so that's why we're probably not seeing huge results yet. This, okay, good. Um, so let's follow them. So this little guy is chilling, I guess, found a little safe spot. He can see tiles that he remembers um, with eye two, which I think is a side eye. You can see the fireball entity and both those affect his moves and he must have just died. Let's go back, pick someone else at random. Let's get a gem 14 here. <laughs> Ooh, he's right on the edge of the abyss. His neural net's pretty simple, made of two species right there, and these are the generations that he got stuff. Um, and one disabled neuron, it looks like. Velocity input, you can see, and I'm guessing he just passed away. Because remember, they have a very short life expectancy if they're not actively doing something cool. Not much this guy's is an end net. But he's just making this cool little pattern here. So you can figure that out. Can see a tile that he remembers. He's going to turn. <laughs> can see outer wall. Turn. Can see outer wall. Move. Pretty simple. Brain. Not a lot, not a lot going on there. And we're down to our last guy here. We didn't do much. So when he passes away, then we're going to iterate generations and increment upwards. So we're not seeing anything crazy right now. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit. But they're only at generation 19, which is good. <laughs> I think a guy just made it all the way up there and came right back. Maybe not the brightest yet. But uh, I will be doing several casts. Um, I have been more active on Twitcher recently. Uh, at uh, Twitcher, Twitch, I mean, I don't know, I said Twitcher, the Twitch lately, and um, schematical games. So I'll try and uh, drop some streams of these things learning. If you're interested in the alpha, hop in the, um, the conversation here in Discord. Uh, links in the show notes. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much where we're at right now. Um, I'll probably pop this on Stitcher pretty soon, but they are 
slowly learning to dodge these fireballs. The idea is to make more complex mechanics that they end up with more complex behavior. So look at my other videos where they're solving lava mazes and stuff. It's uh, cool stuff. I know it's like a little slow at first, but uh, hopefully if I don't run into any more memory issues, I can build a challenge mode that allows me to challenge other people's bots versus my own bots and we can actually see the other alpha testers and see how their bots have gone and we can start sharing levels and testing levels and stuff so <clears throat> excuse me I'm just gonna follow a couple more of these guys kind of at random and this is their scoreboard here so you can see he's hopping around a bit Let's slow this down just a little trippy if you have it too fast when they're uh, this close up And you can see all the tiles that he remembers touching and his neural net, but I think he just died. Yeah, he just died. So we can't see his neural net. Unless he scores high. Ooh, uh, uh, about 20. I want to see this guy. Yeah, Gen 20 means that his species as a whole has to be doing pretty well. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, these each take minus 50 uh, health out of 100. So, but... He did pretty well in order to get saved. Must be the top one of his species, actually, now that I think about it. I also added in some caching for the eyes, so we don't have to do ray casts for every single test, which is nice. And that guy died. And that guy died. This guy's got a pretty high score. Well, he's up there. He's sitting there thinking. He's got the is facing, so that's good. That's usually a neuron that's active. That basically tells them which direction they're facing, not expressed so much as like a north-south, but like a, a degrees. And so it depends on this weight here, you know, really. And he's got two can see fireball entities. That's pretty cool. Gen 17, missed it, clicked on the wrong one. Nope, gonna do it again. Species 49. Still active, looks like he's that little red guy there. But he's gonna run out of life pretty quick if he doesn't get out of here. Take a look at his neural net. He's got velocity, yep, he's dead. He's dead, Jim. <laughs> Take a look at the species menu here. See, these guys have a high of 35. Gen 72 is on the rise. There we go. They're in the top part of their species, and we store their brains for one more turn. Clear. And we're at Gen 223 out of 200 ish, so, or count, spawn this Gen at 223. I need to make this wider. So, speeding it up for a second. Wow, these guys must have done something good to have that much life. I guess they're just hitting new, unique tiles. All right, we got generation 22 here. So you can see right there, it's kind of a Boolean can see. Shouldn't be so Boolean. I don't think I'm using Boolean inputs. No, okay, yeah, we definitely aren't using Boolean inputs. Because otherwise that wouldn't be a fraction. This guy is moving wherever he is. Oh, surrounding circles here. Five thousand. Well, Ah, we had a contender there for a second. Pretty good variety of breeding. Get 
that's in 21. Uh, he must have just died. I was just waiting on the last few. Nope, we just moved iterated generations. All right. So if we wait it out till 60, at this rate, we'll probably see some decent uh, behaviors. I'm wondering if I should show, slow down the lava lava balls or fireballs. So if I slow down to normal speed, the lava balls aren't that fast. Yeah, they're slow enough. Interesting. Some of them have shadow and some don't. That's a, some type of bug. I'll have to look into that. Oh, and I added this fancy new debug memory screen for those of you guys that want to know that tells me how many different events they are. The memory fills up quick and the world event fills up quick. And when I made these scriptable objects, this thing went so slow that the memories are getting longer, which is good because they're touching more tiles, but not great. So. The world events are nuts. Descriptable object, those things are so slow. So, tip if you're a Unity developer and it's something that gets created with any amount of frequency, don't. Don't do it with scriptable objects. That guy's been going for a while. Got new species here. That's too many guys here. Time scales too fast. There we go. Four thousand, that's not bad. Then he goes in the lava. That's the beauty about the breeding is some are going to evolve to dodge this lava and some or the fireball and some are going to evolve to dodge the lava and some are going to evolve to go north and if we can combine them all then you end up with a creature that actually knows what it's doing. So, all right, this video is long enough. Thank you guys again. Last time check us out on Discord in the show notes, follow me on Twitter uh, slash schematical um, like that. Um, and uh, Twitch schematical games so check us out thanks for you guys support uh, if you guys are interested in early alpha uh, hop online we are still I think got room for a couple more so thanks bye